Hi friends, it's Tracy from the Financial Freedom Diary and today we are back to do my paycheck number one for the month of October. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe below. I hope you all are having a super fantastic day. Um, thank you to everybody who continue to support me, who have subscribed. I appreciate you all so much. So I'm going to jump right in and tear out my notes page because my paycheck budget form for number one is on the back of it and I need to look at the monthly just so I know what bills are actually due uh, from my pay my first paycheck technically I am one month ahead still not comfortable with taking that money out just yet <laughs> and um, some bills like internet and stuff like that they're on auto draft cell phone yeah only my rent and utilities are the only two that I pay out of pocket that I do something to make that happen. The rest are automatic. But let me zoom you guys in so you can see what I am writing. I thought I was going to be able to use my budget planner as a <laughs> cushion, but I didn't. As I zoomed in, I couldn't see. Um, this so you guys can't see it so i'm trying to move that out of the way but it is what i'm using off to the side okay so that way you don't think i'm cheating or anything so my salary technically i am cheating but that's neither here nor there focus focus my salary is 2641 and rent from my son is 150 And thank y'all for understanding about charging my son rent. It's not market rate or anything like that, but it's just, I found that there was a little bit more shopping. They save money, but when they both were living with me, there was a lot of packages coming via Amazon. So the bill sinking fund, I'm not going to do anything with that just yet. Um, you guys, if you've seen my videos before, since I've moved, I pay my rent out of paycheck number one, and I also give myself all of my cash envelopes out of paycheck number one, but that means I run out of money. So the way I subsidize that is I use money from a sinking fund that I set up. I'll call it my bill money, but you know, on average, most people call it one month ahead fund. So out of my bills, Let's see, I have my son's, and this is automatic, so it's $60. I get paid on the last day of the month, so technically this will come out on the 30th. I also track my health insurance. And my identity theft. And this is just some um, some experiences I've had with my, these transactions. Like they took out more than what they should have and I didn't know. And then they give you like a credit later. But I'm like, how do I know I got my money back? So now I just learned to watch it. And so it's $15 for health insurance. Identity theft is $3. And so the rent... I'm going to budget $1,800. Probably when I get off of here, I'm going to see if my um, rent is showing in the app. I may have to wait until the 1st to be able to pay it, but I'll be able to pay that as soon as it's uh, posting. The next thing I have is my internet. And for internet, I'm going to budget $125. They've been doing some work, so I'm hoping that it's not more than that, but it's not work that I asked for. <laughs> okay, so I think I pay that on the 5th. Making sure my work PC doesn't die on me over here. Okay, and gas for my card. This time I'm only going to budget $50. For the first to the 15th i haven't been going into work that often so i haven't needed 
as much as I was set, setting aside. So I'm trying to cut that back. All right. Okay, so my son's is 60 plus 15 for my health insurance, $3 for my identity theft, rent is $1,800, uh, internet is $125, and $50 gas for my car. And I have, my bill total is $2,053, $2,053. And I hope you can't hear my <laughs> my neighbor's dog. He's barking at something out there. All right, so I'm going to I'm not going to fill in the left to budget just yet because I know I'm going to run out of money, but I want to see how much money I have left. Right, so twenty six forty one plus one fifty subtract out twenty fifty three. And so I have $738, but let's do my cash envelopes. And so you're going to see how I'm going to spend all of that up in cash envelopes. And this is my variable uh, area. This is where I tend to overspend my um, impulse. Control kind of goes out of the window. I do better with cash than I do with using my card. It's just a personal thing. Some people, um, they can use cars and it doesn't matter, but I tend to not, it's like my brain doesn't register what I spent. Okay, so groceries, $750. I don't know why I couldn't make a seven right then. Uh, dining out, $80. And my personal money is $100. So, let's see. 8.30? No, 9.30 is what it is. But you can see like I had 7.38 and I just groceries alone, I'm out of money. So I have to take that out of the sink, bill sinking fund so I can cover this. So that's what I meant by that. So hopefully that shows you guys what I'm talking about. 7.50 plus 80 plus 100. $930. Now, I very well could just split my sinking funds between my two checks. I really don't like going to the bank. All right, what was that? Was it 738 minus 930? So I need $192. So you see, I'm in the negative 192. So out of my bill sinking fund, I'm going to move $192 to that checking account. I just wrote all over that line, but we're gonna leave it. <laughs> y'all don't have time for me to be all picky. 2641 plus 150 plus 192. I have no idea why I like when I get to recording. I, um, I can't write. So $29.83 is going to be my income. So $29.83 is the income. Now let's see if we got that right. So $29.83 minus $20.53 equals $9.30. And it's 930 down here. So we're going to put 930 left to budget. And then I'm going to subtract out my cash envelopes, which will give me zero. So I don't even have money that I can put into my sinking funds. I don't have any debt, so I don't have to worry about this. Thank God for that. And no savings. And so I have a zero base budget, but yeah, that's it. So it's a very simple check. I don't have, <laughs> I don't have any money. Now paycheck number two, I use mainly for my savings, but yes, I could split this up and I would have enough money to cover it. I just don't like going to the bank. I just can't stand it. And you'll see that since I'm not giving myself cash for, um, 
household this month is going into the sinking fund and I can't fund that until paycheck number two. So when I do my sinking fund check-in, let me zoom you guys back out. So when I start doing reconciling my uh, sinking funds, I have to now learn not to buy anything for the house until the 15th of the month. So that's a change, but it's going to be okay. Um, I also wanted to let you guys know that I did find for I did find what was the difference between what I had on paper and what was in every dollar. It was on September 3rd. $150. That was the money I saved from my cash envelopes from August. And so I reconciled it on paper, but I didn't put it into every dollar. So it was off by $150. So I did find that. So that is all done and accounted for. Next thing I need to do, and I'll probably do it off cameras, I need to break down my cash envelope so I can go to the bank and tell them what denom yeah, denominations. Is it denominations? Denominations. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's been a long day. Whatever it is, what bills I want them to give back to me and what quantity. That's what I meant. I think it's denominations. But anyway, we are done, y'all. We are done. Thank y'all so much for watching. I will talk to you guys again. I'm hoping to get my goals video up to you guys. Um, either either Friday or Sunday. It just depends. It's uh, I got to do the quarterly refresh and cultivate what matters. And then I have to do the monthly and that's normally a lot to record. And I miss my opportunity to record on Tuesday because I work late and then I had to work late today. So I'm hoping that I can get that done tomorrow, get the top down portion and then Friday try to do the face and then I'll probably have it up on Sunday or Friday if I'm lucky. But thank y'all so much for watching. Sorry I had to change this up on y'all. Y'all have a super fantastic Thursday and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.